Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Allie, if you didn't already know. Obviously, my channel name, as I always say, is Allie. So, um, just a little bit has changed this week. I don't really have, like, a huge update for you guys. But, you know, I promise you guys I'll be trying to do, like, weekly videos consistently now. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so this week, um, I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks, um, and a lot of cramping, like, period-like cramping. Which, um, Braxton Hicks I had with my son, but I never really had like period like cramping. So I was getting a little bit worried. Uh, I know what contractions feel like. So it wasn't contractions. It was just more like I was like I'm on my period and it's been constant. It's been for like three or four days now that it's been happening going on. So I called my OB and they told me to... Um, increase my water intake so that's what I've been trying to do the Braxton Hicks have gone down a little bit but I'm still having period like cramping um, I went to an appointment this morning um, they said everything looks fine so you know they're not worried or anything that's been like the biggest thing that has happened this week um, another thing is I have not been able to get sleep for the love of my life. Same as last week. Same as, same as the last couple weeks. But this week has been bad. Like when I tell you guys it's been bad. I mean it has been bad. Like I have not been able to sleep. I've been up. And like I said in my last video. It's not that I'm not tired. I'm very tired. But I just can't sleep. I cannot sleep. Um, Even now. Like this past week. Even taking my Unisom. That I showed you guys. The sleeping um, medicine. I can't sleep. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But it's been really rough on me. It's weird because I have energy, but I'm very tired. Like my body just feels very tired. Another thing that happened this week also is um my whole body feels very weak. I feel like I'm about to faint. I haven't fainted. But my body just it just feels like very 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 tired i mean from my arms to my legs it feels like like i said just like i'm about to faint even when i'm sitting down i'm not sure why um i haven't spoke to my doctor about it but you know i'll definitely bring it up in my next appointment which is this upcoming week i also had an ultrasound two days ago i believe it was um to check on the baby to check check her amniotic fluid you know everything around her make sure she's growing fine but baby looked really really healthy really fine you know she was moving a lot in there they told me she's head down already which is freaking great i'm excited she's head down already um her butt is like right here literally like right under this rib my that's this is my left side um she's head down and then her legs are right here and they're one of her feet was actually like legit like right under my rib which I know and I call it every time last time that I had an ultrasound I knew it because I can feel it like I can she's literally been under my ribs like sometimes my ribs actually feel sore from how much she like moves around in there and sometimes I'll feel her like push on my ribs a little bit like yeah uh, and her arms were somewhere around here. One of them was under her belly, I think it was. She's also been getting a lot of hiccups, which is really funny. Um, now they're getting stronger. With my son, I had she, he had a lot of hiccups, and he was like noticeable. Like he would make my whole tummy move. Um, her, she gets them, and I can tell. I have to like I, when I show somebody, I'll be like, oh my gosh, she has the hiccups. Look, they can see it, but it's not that strong. Now it's getting stronger. So you can like literally see my whole belly move. It's kind of funny. I can't really say we, but we have been kind of like baby shower planning. Um, our baby shower is on October 4th. So that's really exciting. Um, my mom, my mother-in-law, and my two mother-in-laws, um, they're planning my baby shower. So it's pretty cool. I'm super excited. Um, it's not a, obviously it's not a surprise. Um, I don't, I don't like surprise, especially with the baby shower and stuff. Uh, I like to be involved so I kind of you know I have like I know the theme so like I ask for like a specific theme or whatever uh so I'm also still out of breath really really badly out of breath probably even more than before and I'm also out of breath when I like sit down or lay down which is like 
how is that even a thing? Because you're usually out of breath when you're doing stuff. When you're walking, going upstairs, whatever. No, man, I'm out of breath all the time. Which is like, I mean, it makes sense because the baby's pushing up against all your organs or whatever. But it's freaking weird. It's freaking weird. I have been more active. I don't know. I don't remember if I mentioned it in my last video or not. I have been a lot more active these past couple weeks. So, like, I've been trying to go out a lot. Um, obviously having two toddlers, you have to like keep them entertained and you know what I'm saying? Like I, I always had a big routine of like, I have always had a big routine of like teaching them at home because they're not going to school right now and they're not, I don't, that's a whole other, that's a whole, for a whole other video, but I don't want them in daycare. Um, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. I have the opportunity to be able to be a stay at home mom. So I'd rather teach them at home. So obviously we always had that like um, curriculum, I guess you would say it, where I teach them their stuff at home. We do projects, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we would go outside, you know, obviously. But I feel like now, uh, lately, I feel like I, they, we've been going out just a lot more. Like I try to take them out, which sometimes I feel like I overdo it a lot. So I try to take them out like three to four times a day if possible um but like this week i kind of gave myself a break and i think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday we stayed inside we did stuff inside I th yeah we i don't think we went out i don't think we went out if we went out it was probably for like a walk around where we live and stuff but normally like i try to take them to like nature parks to normal parks you know what i'm saying with the coronavirus and everything still social distancing so um it's been kind of hard and stuff um like to be able to do a lot a lot a lot with them like what i would like to do um uh, but i mean we've gone to the zoo um there's a place called the funny farm here in new jersey uh i like to take them a lot they're open tuesdays and sundays so i like to take them on some sunday i mean on some tuesdays uh to volunteer just Pet the animals, you know what I'm saying? It's it's really nice. They have all types of animals and they're all rescued. You can pet them, so it's really, really nice. So I've just been trying to be more active. Um, I also, most important is, what's important, I'm leaving it for last. So um, I spoke to my OB. He wants to induce me um, 38 or 39 weeks. Because like I said, um, I've explained before, this pregnancy has been super, super hard on my body. And um, just bringing a lot of stress to myself, which brings a lot of stress to the baby. Um, so I'm I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. But I'm also really nervous. I'm nervous to have a girl because I've been a boy mom for four years now. And it's just something very, very different. Um, I've also had a lot of worries with this pregnancy i'm not sure why but like yeah it's been crazy um but that's my update for you guys um 32 weeks um so yeah as you guys can see i'm super super comfy today because it's been really cold here in new jersey um at least where i live it's been getting really cold um, so now I'm going to show you guys the belly bump update because, you know, I know I love to see that when I watch, like, the pregnancy updates or whatever. This is my belly from the front. From the side. And from the side. I've been trying to like moisturize every day because I'm scared to get more stretch marks than what I did with my son. But yeah. Hold on, let me lower it down a little bit. Or at least try to. Yeah. So. This is her. She's big in there. But I'm super comfy in this. Super, super comfy in this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see more. 
If you guys like my channel, whatever, 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 you already know the deal. Um, and you know, like I've said before, comment, let me know what you guys want to see from me, you know, what content you'd like, you'd be interested in, and I'll, you know, I'll try to make it happen, guys. But thank you for watching. Mwah!